What's up guys? In this tutorial, I will show you how to fix a slow internet speed on your Windows PC. This should be quite an easy tutorial. For more information, click on the first link in the description below. First, open up your task manager. Right click your taskbar and select task manager or search for it in your start menu search. On this window, navigate to the performance section. On Windows 11, click on this burger menu icon and select Resource Monitor. On Windows 10, you will see the Open Resource Monitor option at the bottom of this window. Here, navigate to the Network section and expand the processes with network activity. This will allow you to preview all processes currently using your internet connection. Apps with higher bandwidth requirements are the Google Chrome browser, game launchers such as Steam, or other apps that allow you to download content such as Spotify. In some cases, applications such as Steam or the Creative Cloud will download updates in the background and clog up your bandwidth temporarily. To prevent this from happening, open up the app in question, in this example, Steam. Navigate to the app settings. In the download section, limit your download bandwidth to around a third of your download speed. This will also come down to the right speed of your PC storage. Apply the bandwidth limit, which in this case is 8 MB per second. After preventing applications from using your network bandwidth, open up your window settings. Here, navigate to the Network and Internet section and click on VPN. Prevent any VPN or proxy connection when troubleshooting a slow internet connection, as a VPN can induce slower speeds and a higher latency when enabled. Next, make sure that your network adapter driver is up to date. Close your window settings and open up your device manager. On this window, expand your network adapters. Right-click the one you are using and select Update Driver. Click on Search Automatically for Drivers, which will take a couple of seconds to ensure your network adapter driver is up to date. If you need help determining which network adapter you are using, repeat this step for each one in this list. Next, restart your router or modem. This simple step can improve your internet speed. It would help if you disconnected other devices using the same network connection. Some may be using up your bandwidth and slowing down your internet speed. When this is done, prevent malware from running on your Windows PC. You can run a malware scan using your antivirus application and ensure your Windows firewall is active. You can scan your PC for malware using the Windows Defender firewall, but it's usually suggested to use additional security on your PC. If the slow internet speed problem persists, you should reset your network connection. Open up your control panel. Make sure to view by category and click on Network and Internet. Next, navigate to your Network and Sharing Center and click on Change Adapter Settings. Finally, right-click your active network connection and select Disable. After waiting a few seconds, right-click the connection again and choose Enable. To further optimize your network connection and Windows PC, you should delete your temporary files from time to time. Open up your Windows settings. Under System, click on Storage. It might take a few seconds to load your storage information and select Temporary Files. Make sure that the Temporary Files option is selected and other files you might want to get rid of to clear up your hard drive and prevent unnecessary loading. In my case, this will include the recycle bin, Windows Update files and the content of my downloads folder. Lastly, Reset your domain name system, or DNS, to allow a faster connection to servers. Search for CMD in your Start menu search and open up your command prompt. On this window, use the command ipconfig slash flush DNS. This will flush and reset the content of your DNS resolver cache. If your network speed is slow in general, then you will have to contact your ISP and ask about options for upgrading your plan router or both. All of these steps, commands 
and additional information will be available in my extensive guide linked in the description below. I hope this helped you out. Leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.